hello everyone welcome back i hope you guys are all doing well let me back up a little bit because my hair is not fully in the frame today i wanted to share just a little bit of what's been on my what's been on my mind what's been on my spirits what's been on my heart honey so a lot of what i do i feel like just naturally as a person i'm a very reflective person very self-reflective looking at how i've grown as a person over periods of time and a lot of since a lot of my life journey thus far as on youtube is always so funny when i go back and look at that look at my older videos there's hundreds and hundreds that i've deleted but i can still see them and i look at the, the type of person that i was i think about why i was doing what i was doing why i was doing youtube why i was adamant about it why i wanted that so, why i wanted that so badly to be a YouTuber and then I look at who I am now and how I look at YouTube but not even just YouTube just just everything <laughs> just in general because YouTube was such a big part of my life it's so funny now um I, you know I spread these positive messages but it's not from a place of I know it all or I've been there and I've done that or I have the best advice ever it's really because I'm when I share these positive and uplifting and motivational life changing messages, it's be, it's a way that I'm reinforcing it to myself. And everything that I learn, I teach it because that is part of the process. That is part of the journey of changing your mindset and reaching your abundant life and living the life that the universe and God has for you you can't be selfish you can't be selfish it's all about spreading it and that's it just brings me so much joy and I found purpose and passion in this and so every not every but the videos like this the posts on Instagram it has purpose behind it that I'm doing I'm not just to me I like to dress up nicely and you know do my hair nice do my makeup nice on instagram i post quotes i'm not doing it just i'm not just doing it to do it there's a reason behind it there's a purpose behind it because i want to help someone i want to motivate people because i want to inspire people because i know people that people do find it inspiring people find it uplifting and i just remember there was a point in my life where i wasn't where i wanted to be and i i knew where i wanted to be and i saw it and so what I'm doing now is following that vision, making that vision come to reality. The vision that I am seeing and feeling in my heart, making that manifest and seeing it in my with my eyes. And that's a part of it. All I'm when I think about all that I do when it comes to my passion and my purpose, all it is is simply what I feel led to do. And there's so much peace with that. So when I think about the person that I was when it came to YouTube in the past, I'm thinking I was, I just, I was young. I just so desperately wanted attention. I'm going to be honest. I just so desperately wanted to feel validated, to feel like my videos were good, to felt, to feel like people liked me. Right. And that definitely probably came from an insecurity. Like I said, we're on a healing journey. I can do another video on my healing journey. I am going to do another video on the healing journey, but I was seeking validation guys, because I didn't have it within myself. But now that I'm in a whole other place, I have validation within myself. I only seek validation from God, never from man, never want to do that um, because God created me. And now when I think about YouTube, when I think about life, business, money, whatever it is, I'm not, you know, I don't have this mindset of like chasing after. I just have this mindset of, look, it's going to naturally flow into my life. I'm going to naturally come on here and film this video. I'm going to naturally film another video whenever I feel led to. I'm not going to put pressure on myself. I'm not going to do crazy edits with them. I'm not going to spend hours making a thumbnail. I'm not going to spend hours trying to perfectly optimize it to get the most amount of views. Because again, that's, that's seeking the validation that that's not purpose. That's not why you're doing it. So I did that really was just like, I don't know, that was like an intro. I had to get that out of the way and just tell you guys how my mindset has changed. And part of that is I don't have the same amount. I don't have the same amount of followers. My YouTube channel isn't growing. But and so if you're new, you know, because you found this content that you don't know about the past YouTuber that I was. But I'm I just naturally do this <laughs> um, bottom line. But back to what I was saying. So, yes. 
Yes. Um, it's a way that I'm reinforcing these messages into my own mind because guys, I learn these things. I listen to speakers. I read books. I listen to podcasts. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll hear it. It's one thing to hear it and understand it. Like, okay. Yeah. But when I go out in the world and have to apply that message to my life, it's a completely different feeling. And I don't know if it's because I've, I've told you guys, I've always had like that, that naive kind of mindset. You're not, you're not really up. You're not really up. Like you're not really up on game all the way. So I really go through life experiences and I'm like, I see the the test. I see the message and the lesson that God is trying to force me to not only understand, but understand. Because yes, you may believe that what like one of my favorite quotes, what's for you won't miss you. Yeah, you may believe that. Yeah, you may hear that. Or even something as simple as, you know, you know, um, don't quite like don't question when somebody isn't treating you right you know always trust actions and not words yeah you hear that yeah I say that but then I go in the real world and I'm like then I'll start questioning something for a second I'll start doubting something for a second and I'll look back on that lesson that quote that message and I'm like that's what this is right now that's what this is okay somebody's walking towards me that's a little awkward I'm like that's what this is that is what this is and I say whoa because sometimes I'll go through life experiences and I'll kind of still have that doubt or that insecurity, even though I know I shouldn't because, Nicole, you, you do self-improvement all the time. Shouldn't you be a little bit? But no, because it's one thing to read it and to hear it, but you got to practice it. And I think that I think that um, I do, I, I've always felt like I do have a lot of wisdom. But I always was a little confused by that because I'm like, oh, you got wisdom. You're 22. You haven't really experienced that much. But it's because I learn from other people's experiences, other mistakes. I listen to other people's stories and it, 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 it gives me perspective. But I had to realize and say, look, Nicole, you're doing well. I know you're learning, you're reading, but you have to apply it in order to really understand, internalize the message and, and, and live that. Because once you start living it, then you're going to start leading by example and people can look up to you and you can really be a role model for others. Not just based off of just what you know, but seriously, like how you're applying it into your life. Like I want to tell you that what's for you won't miss you one is huge because if you think about how, how, how truly liberating that is to say, look, what's for me won't miss me, whether that's a relationship, money job opportunity if it's really for me if it really would benefit me if it really was something that would would help lead me towards my purpose help um nourish me in my purpose and in my goals it wouldn't miss me why would why would it miss me then if it was really for me then why why wouldn't I have it then you know and and I just think about that and I'll just wrap this up here like I said sometimes I do go through there's somebody else walking but he didn't see me there is sometimes I do go through things and I'm like and I'll go through this little time period where I'm doubting where I'm unsure where I'm not trusting where I'm, and I'm like Nicole this is not you like you you're better than this you're stronger than this you you got it you can believe you be- believe more than this and trust it and that all we want to do is just get that time period shorter and shorter so that you can start flowing and flowing and you know because that time period went from, you know, about a month to maybe like a few weeks to maybe a few days. Don't even I'm trying to get to the point where I'm not even spending no hours, no minutes. I'm not wasting any time questioning and doubting and wondering. That's not freeing. That's not abundant. That's very limiting. And I don't like that. So that's why, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously I'm not going to be perfect. Obviously, I have my struggles. But like I said, I'm in a healing journey. I'm working on self-awareness and all of that. But. The point was, I'm just reminding myself because I watch my own videos to give myself advice, which is weird. I'm reminding myself now that I'm doing what I do. I love spreading positive messages, uplifting messages, motivational self-improvement because I am trying to like it's like my way of affirming it to myself is like saying it (laughs) to my camera, talking to myself. Um, And it just gives this purpose, you know, because the self-improvement. Is, is passion for me it's always been a passion of mine I discovered that when I was like 18 that I was like wait a second if I could dive into this self-improvement journey this could really take me to the next level this could really help me optimize at who I'm really meant to be if I just work on certain areas of my life 
So I hope this video made sense. I hope that you found it inspiring. Um, I hope, I mean, that was a lot for me to say, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one.